Hello everyone, don't always eat fried dough sticks for breakfast, today I'll teach you what lazy people do, no need to knead or roll the dough, ready in 5 minutes, more delicious and nutritious than fried dough sticks, this is also my family's favorite breakfast, you don't have to get up early to do it for 7 days, let's see how it's done, first prepare a handful of cleaned leeks, after controlling the moisture, cut it into small cubes, cut it into as little pieces as possible, it will taste better this way. After everything is cut, put it into a larger bowl, then add an appropriate amount of cooking oil into it. Stir thoroughly with chopsticks. Coat the leeks evenly with a layer of cooking oil. This can lock in the moisture inside the leeks. Mix well and set aside for later use. Next prepare a peeled carrot. Cut into thin slices first, then cut into thin strips. A friend who is not good at knife skills. You can also use a grater to grate it into fine threads. Finally cut into small pieces. No need to cut it too finely. After cutting, place in a bowl and set aside. Next, prepare a handful of soaked fungus. Clean it. After cleaning, control the moisture. First cut into thin strips, then chop it into pieces with a knife. Chop it well and put it into a bowl for later use. Let's prepare a small bowl. Crack in three decent eggs. Beat the eggs with chopsticks. Stir evenly. Set aside for later use. Next, add a little oil to the pan. After the oil is hot, pour the egg liquid into the pot. Then use chopsticks to quickly stir up the egg liquid. Fry the egg liquid into frangipani. After frying, add the shredded carrots and stir fry. After frying the carrots, can better release the nutrients in carrots. Fry the carrots until soft and then serve them out. Put it in the leek, then add the chopped fungus. Add a pinch of salt to the bowl, a spoonful of oyster sauce, appropriate amount of finely ground sesame oil, a little bit of shrimp skin to increase the taste. Then use chopsticks to mix thoroughly. Mix well and set aside for later use. Next, prepare two yuan worth of wonton wrappers. Take one out and put the stuffing on it. Tidy it up. Then brush the edges of the wonton wrappers with water. This can play a bonding role and will not spread easily. Then start from one end and wrap it like this. When rolling, try to roll it as tightly as possible. After rolling it up, press both sides. This way the filling won't leak out. Such a simple blank is ready. Isn't it very simple and fast? Once done, set aside for later use. We can do a little more in turn. Store in refrigerator. You can take it out to make breakfast when you eat it. It can be done in a few minutes. Very simple and fast. Next prepare a small bowl. Beat in two eggs. Add another spoonful of cornstarch into it. Then use chopsticks to mix thoroughly. Stir until there are no dry starch particles left. Then put the prepared dough into the egg liquid. Coat it evenly with a layer of egg wash. A thin layer of egg liquid like this will do. Then heat the oil in the pot to 50% heat in advance. Then put the prepared green bodies in one by one. Don't touch it when you first put it in the pot. Fry until the egg mixture is set. Then flip it with chopsticks. Let it heat more evenly. Wonton wrappers are very thin and easy to cook, so it doesn't take too long to fry. The whole journey takes about 3 minutes. Fry until the surface is golden and crispy. Like this, it will be golden. Then use a slotted spoon to take it out to control the oil. Let's take a look. Looks very appetizing. Crispy and charred skin. The fillings inside are also very nutritious. There are eggs, carrots and leeks. The taste is also very delicious. Use it for breakfast. It's so fragrant and delicious. The whole family likes it very much. If you also like it, quickly collect it and try it. Hello everyone, many friends are frying green beans at home. I always feel like it's not cooked enough. I blanch it in a pot and it doesn't taste good. Over frying is unhealthy. Today I will teach you how to make a restaurant. The green beans fried in this way are emerald green in color and do not turn yellow. And fresh and tasty. The method is very simple. Let's see how it's done. First we tear off the fascia next to the green beans. Otherwise it will affect the taste. And it's not easy to digest. When we were buying green beans, I want to buy one with no black spots on the surface. This kind of green beans is relatively fresh. Then pick the green beans into small pieces. After picking, put it in a big pot. Add a pinch of salt to it. Then pour in water to cover the green beans. Then mix it evenly with your hands. Soak in salt water for 5 minutes. This will clean the green beans more cleanly. Next prepare a red pepper and remove the seeds. Then cut it in half. Then change the knife and cut into thin strips. After cutting, place in a bowl and set aside. Next, 
Prepare an appropriate amount of garlic. Cut into thin slices. After cutting, place in a bowl and set aside. Let's prepare the pork belly for 2 yuan. Cut into thin slices. You should choose pork that is either fat or lean. It will taste more delicious. After cutting, place in a bowl and set aside. This time are green beans. It's almost soaked. Then clean it. Rinse again with clean water. After cleaning, drain the water and fish it out. Place in a larger bowl. Add appropriate amount of cooking oil into the bowl. Then mix it evenly with your hands. Let every green bean, coated with a thin layer of cooking oil. The green beans produced in this way are emerald green in color. And nutrients are not easily lost. Just like this. Set aside for later use. Next, boil the water in the pot. Then put the green beans directly on the steamer. Sort it out with chopsticks. Smooth it out. Then turn on high heat and steam for 10 minutes. This can preserve the nutrients of green beans to the greatest extent. And the color is green. It also ensures that the green beans are cooked thoroughly. Next prepare a small bowl. Add a pinch of salt. A spoonful of sugar. A little oyster sauce. A tablespoon of light soy sauce. A small spoonful of starch. Pour in half a bowl of water. Then mix thoroughly. Set aside for later use. At this time our green beans have been steamed. Just open the lid and stop simmering. Speaking of green beans, it's not easy to taste without adding oil and salt. But after we steam it like this, it's very easy to taste. Then take it out and set it aside for later use. Next add a little cooking oil to the pot. Once the oil is hot, add the pork belly and stir fry. Fry the pork belly until fragrant. Fry out the fat inside. The fried pork belly will be fragrant but not greasy in this way. After sautéing until fragrant, add the chopped garlic slices. Continue to stir fry evenly. Stir fry until fragrant. Sauté until the garlic slices turn slightly yellow. Then pour in the steamed green beans. Stir fry over high heat for one minute. Because the green beans have been steamed just now and are almost cooked. Turn on high heat and stir fry until cooked through. It should be noted here that the green beans can be eaten only when they are cooked. Undercooked green beans can cause vomiting and diarrhea. Stir fry over high heat for about one minute. Then add the chopped red pepper shreds. Add the prepared sauce as well. Continue to stir fry evenly. Stir fry until delicious. Stir fry over high heat for about one minute. Saute until the red pepper is broken. The green beans fried in this way are green in color. Fragrant taste. After frying, you can turn off the heat and take out the pan. A very delicious fried green bean is ready. The unique flavor of green beans, paired with pork belly. It really smells so good. The green beans fried in this way are green in color. And it's also very delicious. If you also like it, quickly collect it and try it. I will update different food videos every day. Follow me if you like my videos. Thank you for your support.